Senator Babangida Useini Uba, representing Jigawa North West, has raised concerns over the escalating cost of food items across the country, calling on the federal government and relevant stakeholders to take urgent action. In a statement issued in Kano, the senator described the rising prices as alarming, particularly in rural communities of the northern states and other regions. He noted that this increase is happening despite the harvest season when food prices are usually expected to drop, attributing the situation to insecurity, banditry and criminal activities in key food producing areas which have severely impacted food security nationwide. Senator Uba urged immediate intervention to tackle the crisis, warning that it poses a significant threat to national food security and stability. Following this, Ford People TV visited the streets of Lagos to gather public opinions on the issue of soaring food items in the country. Yeah, really, it has. If there's anybody that will say the economic, practically, generally, rather, uh, most importantly, about the food price has not affected him or her, is a lie. Um, because compared to what we used to take to the market initially to now, it's on the high side. And, um, but God is faithful anyway, it's helping us out and we are able to cope. Because unlike before, what I will use 10,000 naira to buy, uh, now I don't think I buy it with uh, 20, 25,000 naira, really. And, um, minimum amount that I expect to take to the market right now monthly is nothing less than 150,000 to 200,000 to have a good uh, uh, house stop with food stop and all that and um, the only thing I we I have been looking forward to from the government and most importantly even from from the national Nigerian Labour Congress um, it's price control on a monthly basis before I used to budget like 10 15,000 hour for food stuff on a monthly basis but now, even 30,000 naira won't be enough. I get it now. The last month end, I had to, I used 30,000 naira to buy food stuff. As of yesterday, the food stuff has finished because it could not cover the monthly distance. So I had to, as I'm coming, I had to buy food stuff. I, I get it now so that I can be able to use that for the remaining days. I get it now. So it is obvious, it covers every angle. Everybody's hungry, of course. The cost of uh, petrol has greatly um, affected the price of food stuff. The price of food is very, very expensive. Oh. They should just run and bring it down. People are dying of hunger. It's very, very expensive. Like in my house now, we cannot eat beans because beans is too expensive and it's very good for the body. Please, the price of, the price of food should come down for us. Please, they should help us. I appeal to the government or beg them. The price of food should come down, please, oh, please, oh, so that somebody will not just start falling down on the road because of hungry. We are hungry for the food uh, price now that is very high. Only what we need from our government is that government should please assist all the poor because nobody is rich as of now. It affects both rich and the poor. So government should please assist us concerning the food price so that they will bring the price of the things, goods they are buying down. Because what they want to say now in the market, they will tell you that uh, the fuel is too cost. Before they see bus to bring it down to Lagos, it's very cold. And it affects me a lot. At, for me now, I have four children and I'm training. And for me to be feeding three years old girl, giving him 500 in the morning, 500 afternoon and night. Even when I'm going to school, I didn't spend 500 in a day. But as of nowadays now, we are spending more than one five for a, a child going to school. And then when, even that five for now is not enough for them. Please, government should please and help us. We don't have anything to do and we don't have anywhere to go. Nigeria is our country that we all love Nigeria. God should help us in this country. As we've heard from citizens, the soaring cost of food items is a growing concern across the country. However, Nigerians are calling on the federal government to take immediate action to address the situation. Matthew Ogunswada, reporting for Voice of the People TV.